Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War with me, Kamsa Roach. In the last episode, we finished off a mission. Uh, oh, we got some... Well, we finished off a mission. It was a, it was a river crossing mission. We did fairly well. Uh, so, captured message. Mr. President, unfortunately, we have bad news. In the Battle of River, of river Crossing... Maybe it should be the River Crossing? That we had to withdraw versus the overwhelming forces of the Yankee General Feder uh, Frederick Roach. I am kindly expecting your orders on now on how I should proceed, Major General Virgil Zook. Captured message. General, we are sending by rail 2,200 crack soldiers to reinforce your positions. Watch your flanks. We are coming to assist. Brigadier General Dennis Tuttle. Urgent report. General Frederick Roach. At least... 3,100 Confederate soldiers from the Miss, uh, from Mississippi are moving to up to reinforce uh, your opposing armies. It is advised that you watch your flanks and be wary of your actions. Major General uh, Arnold Burton. Okay. Alright. Now we have the crossroads. The rebels are strengthened, uh, have strengthened their presence at Chamberlain Gap, a strategic position near the junction of Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee. They recently made Mill Springs their winter quarters, and this position is our next military target. Detachments of the Army of the Ohio have already dispatched and uh, will gather at Logan's Crossroads to commence the assault. Your mission is to protect, Lo is to protect Logan's Crossing until all our troops arrive. Okay, I think we could do that. Yeah. Let's start. Okay, we may have 12, we have 12 brigades of nine that we can actually deploy. So that's something. I think we're good. Yeah, nothing new there. We definitely need to get some reconnaissance next time we get some points for our career. I think that would be a good idea. But yeah, I think we can start. Detachments of your army are gathering at Logan's Crossroads to commence an attack on a rebel force at Mill Springs. Our scouts have spotted rebel patrols in the woods heading towards your position. Guard the crossroads until the rest of the uh, detachments join you. Kid, okay. I want Figgin. I want Martin. Hobson, I think. Well, this is going to be close range. Hobson's got the six pounder, so not Hobson. Scales, he's got that. No, I don't need the range. I need Ziggler. Ziggler's got lower range. But a damn good 12-pound... Oop, I didn't mean to put me in there. There we go. Uh, he's got a damn good... Uh, it's a 12-pound howitzer. Yeah, 12-pound howitzer. Smooth bore. We'll put Ziggler in there. Blood him early. Okay, and the rest of our divisions will be... All the, yeah, the rest of our divisions will be coming in after that. I think we're good. Alright, Figgin, take position there. You move up there. Ziggler, ready yourself here. Law. Attach skirmishers from Martin. I want Martin's skirmishers here to protect our side. Skirmishers to the north. Double quick there, double quick. Turn double quick off, they're in good position. The rest of our units are approaching. Good, good, good. Oh, I need you skirmishing over on the left. Iverson, moving on our right, see what you see in those trees. Okay, Longbeard, move up here. Batten over here. Hobson, Scales, there. Start hitting those skirmishers. 
Askel, Longbeard, move up at the double quick. Get into those trees, start providing side flanking fire on these skirmishers and Johnston. Or is that J That's not Johnson, that's just Johnson. Okay, move up. Overwhelm them. Okay, here they are. Yeah, Martin skirmishers are hitting on that side. Okay, Burton, I want you up. Longbeard, I want you to divert over here. Turn your cannon. Double click there. Fall back. Reattach. Martin's flank has been attacked. Hit him with canister. Fall back, Martin, fall back. Yeah, Martin's routing. Up, up. Reattach those skirmishers, get their strength back up a little bit more. Fire canister into him. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Make him pay. All right. Hit Martin, hit him, hit him. Hit him, hit him. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, Batten. Martin. back. Lost a gun. Need to plug up these gaps. At the devil quick, get that pack up. Come on. Stewart, hit Stewart. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Moving up, I want these skirmishers out of these woods. Doing suicide charges. What the hell's going on?
there. My God. You done yet? Martin, come on, get in your position. Mm -hmm. Feigen's actually doing pretty good there. Longbeard's doing okay. Martin took a lot of casualties in this fight. They got flaked by an entire brigade, so it, it makes sense. Everson, I'm, I'm gonna have you come back. There's got some sort of cannon back here we're gonna have to hit. All these suicide charges are not helping them. Very poor decisions, tactically. Okay, cross this gap here. Uh, then we're gonna race up here and see if there's... It sounds like it's somewhere around this uh, farmhouse. If we can silence that artillery, we're in a much better position. Oh, if I can... God damn it. up. Well, we're hitting these guys. Okay, well, they're breaking off. Okay. Everson, let's see what you can see. Gotta be some artillery back here. Aha! I see ya. Pretty substantial units of artillery, actually. It's not worth it. We're not gonna be able to break that. are you guys doing? Double quick. Why the hell did you switch positions? Get Russell. Hit him. Hit him. try and hit this cannon again. I think all the infantry that retreated is back up to the front now. Straight on down the center. Okay, they're loading. They're loading and on the move now. Wounded. Keep that artillery on the move. Back off to this farmhouse. My God.
Whew, that... This is a fight. Let's see if we can hit those cannons one more time with Everson. charge that cannon. Knock it out completely. Get out of there before they start firing at us with canister. Got a canister shot at us, but we got that cannon. Does the game? Uh, oh yeah, I think this mission's over. Okay, I think we win. Yeah, we win. Finish. So they had no commanders. They outnumbered us by quite a bit in both cavalry and infantry. Guns, we outnumbered them. Casualties were by far worse on their side. My God. Yeah. <sighs> Feigen is... Almost had a thousand kills. That is fairly good. And, uh... Iverson. 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 He did fairly well. He only got 50 losses, but did 329 kills. My god. How the hell do you do that? When did you do that? Wow. Uh... Bratton's wounded... Uh, Latimer is promoted colonel. Uh, Martin's promoted lieutenant colonel. Feigen's is another lieutenant colonel promotion. We captured a six pounder. Uh, captured, de uh, captured and rescued. Not a lot, but yeah, I think that worked out pretty well. War service medal. War service medal. Nice. Battle rewards. Good amount of money, good amount of recruits, plus four rep, and one career point. Alright, career. Now, let's think about this. What do we want to put something into? We could get army organization to get uh, more brigade size. That'd be fairly good. So we could get 4,000, or uh, we could get uh, 2,000 troops per brigade. Uh, economy would give us a better discount. Medicine would give us some actual restored troops at the end of the battle. Hmm. Additional ammo. We're gonna, rec we're gonna go recce. We need some reconnaissance. Alright. Army. You've got a promotion, so let's see what you can get. Assault course, firearms course, accuracy course, more reload time, but plus accuracy, plus 10 firearms. Whereas this one decreases reload time, decreases accuracy. Hmm. Do we want less fire, but more accurate? Or do we want more fire, but less accurate? I want more fire, more ac uh, I want more fire, less accuracy. Do that. Bratton. Let's see here. Lieutenant Colonel Bain. Was he born in it? Molded by it? Sorry. Just had that had to make that joke. Okay, ten more men for Latmer. Sir, yes, sir! You don't have to scream it. There we go there. Everson, let's get back up to 300. Okay, Bane, let's get you back up to 1500. Let's get all our boys back up to 1500. Alright. I think 
everybody's good. Yeah, everybody's good. All right, now the question is, do we keep working on second core? Uh, well, let's get our boys here up to 1,500 apiece. Make them a bit, like, uh, a bit formidable. Maybe you yeah. update gun, Glover. Let's get second division, second core up. They need some cavalry. It's the most numerous gun we have. We have a smith. We'll take the smith. Smith at 300. Get you up there for scouting and uh, poking. One thing is skirmishers. We'll put... Uh, what do we want to put on to you? I'm going to make you our actual sharpshooter. Oh, you, we can't equip you with that. Okay. Could go for a hundred. Eight. Can we afford it? No. But, could put the cult on you. We'll do that. I think that's all we're going to get. Eh, it's not bad. What else we got from Washington? Could get some money. Cost us a lot of our rep. William Sherman, McDowell. 24 pound howitzers. Oof. Some more recruits or some more money. I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Do we have any bonuses to our morale? Oh, morale boost plus one because of how good we are. Nice. So we got two core. As we're going into the Battle of Shiloh. Let's also bring this up to 10,000 supply. So we got two supply trains at 10,000 apiece. Captured message. In accordance to my, uh, in obedience to my received orders, we've battled the enemy in the cro uh, in crossroads and lost almost all our artillery and supplies. I've already sent my battle report to headquarters, but please make sure your general will receive my request for more troops. If I don't have uh, support quickly, I will have no choice but to hold against, uh, but to hold against Frederick Roach, Colonel Herbert Jones. Captured message. The general of uh, the army of General Frederick Roach presents a large threat for the Confederate cause. President Jefferson Davis has approved reinforcements of 2,800 crack troops to assist your efforts. Major General Randy Figgin. Urgent report. General Frederick Roach. The rebels ha are, are reinforcing their army with 3,600 additional recruits. Please respond to this matter with the utmost urgency. Lieutenant General Harvey Howey. Okay, so with this, I think their morale's down by 10, and their army size is down by 5%. Your army moves down via the Tennessee River and disembarks at Pittsburgh Landing. You're expecting Major General Don Carlos Buell, Carlos Buell, huh, uh, to join you with the Army of the Ohio for an attack on Cordith. I said, uh, actually, I have to get closer. Cordith. 22 miles inland. You must defend your position until both armies meet and continue the expedition. So we can get some good rep for this if we're able to win. But I'm fair. I don't know if Battle of Shiloh was a win or a loss historically, off the top of my head. I'm gonna go with probably a loss since uh, victory gives us so much rep, but draw still gives us some reps. So we'll see. But looking at the time, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. So hit that like button. If you want to help support the channel, consider that subscribe button as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.